Today we're going to talk about the Tuxedo TP9 KACX. This is a 9,000 pound two post asymmetric style lift. It comes with asymmetric arms where one arm is shorter in the front and at an angle and the rear arm is longer and comes with spin up pad adapters, rubber door guards to protect the vehicles. It's a chain over design. We also include standard stack adapters and also saddle adapters uh, for wide frame vehicles. This is our TP9 KFX, which is a floor plate lift, really designed for a low ceiling application. It's still 9,000 pound capacity. This is a symmetric style lift, meaning all four arms are the same length. It does come with the standard spin up adapters, rubber door guards, and also your free set of height extensions. We received a question from Kim Duncan asking us, how often should you change the hydraulic oil in a lift? It's a good question. It really depends on the environment that the lift's being used in. If you're in a spick and span, real tidy shop, and you're not using the lift that often, you probably never have to change it. This is a contained system. But if you're in a dirty shop and there's a lot of dust, a lot of particles in the air, this is what we recommend. Once a month, always check the level on your reservoir tank when the lift is down to make sure it's full capacity. Every three months, we'd recommend drop the tank and clean out the filter on the intake tube that's inside of the reservoir tank. Use brake cleaner or a degreaser of some sort, then put it all back together again and add oil if needed. And then once a year, we recommend that you look at the oil, see if it's discolored, if there's any contaminants inside it. Then we would recommend replacing it. It only takes about three and a half gallons of AW32 hydraulic oil. And this is the blood of your lift, so you want to keep it healthy. So thanks for the question, Kim. That's it for Lunch with Ron. We'll see you next time.